Hi right, guys, welcome to GCSE, GCSE Electricity. Here we're going to be with the required practical of IV characteristics. The aim of this experiment, we are going to be investigating three different components, whether they will follow Ohm's law. The three components that we'll be experimenting on is the filament light bulb, the diode, and here we've got set up already the fixed resistor. Here I have a set up already here, already made. You've got the power pack, the ammeter, the voltmeter, and the variable resistor, and already connected the fixed resistor. The, vari the variable resistor allows us to adjust the flow of current, which allow us to get different readings of the potential difference. Hi guys, you know Ohm's law, which states that volt potential difference is directly proportional to current. If we rearrange this equation to make resistance subject, we get potential difference or voltage over current. In this experiment, you're going to get values of voltage and current. When you plot in the graph, you're going to get potential difference on the x-axis and current on the y-axis. Alright, in order to find the resistance of this component, we need to find the gradient. So in order to find the gradient of this graph, we need to take the difference of y over the difference of x. But we, we can't finish from there because we're going to have i over v. So what we're going to do is do 1 divided by the gradient in order to get resistance. Alright guys, so we're going to do, take, it, uh, take some readings on this uh, experiment. So I'm going to switch on the bulb, I'm going to take reading from current and potential difference. Over here I've got 1.55 and over here I've got 11.95. Once I've taken readings, make sure you switch it off so that the component doesn't overheat. Okay, so make sure you do uh, adjust the variable resistor as much as you can to get as many results so you can get a nice graph. Now what we're going to do is reverse the current by switching the wires around. So to make sure to show that we've got um, the current is going in the reverse direction, you can see the potential uh, the voltmeter and ammeter reading in negative values. So in this case, I have negative. 1.58 and minus 1.11891. Yeah, and then just switch it off, adjust the variable resistor, switch it on again, get another set of readings, so minus 1.05 and then minus 6.13. Do this again, at different uh, different adjustments of rail resistor to get you um, a lot, uh, to get you lots of results, so you can get a nice um, nice graph. So what what you're going to do now is you're going to repeat these steps for the other components for the fixed resistor and the diode. When you're using the fixed resistor and the diode, make sure you set your voltmeter to to two volts. You because if you don't set it to two volts and you set it higher you may overheat the fixed resistor and the diode. All right, guys, so you're gonna have three tables of results. One is the fixed resistor, the other is a filament bulb, and the last one is the diode. You're gonna have a positive set of uh, positive values of results, on which is gonna be recorded at the top set, and then at the bottom, you're gonna have a negative set of values below. And over here, you're gonna get a set of results, for example, for a fixed resistor, you're going to get a straight line which will show you that it follows Ohm's law. But with a filament bulb, you should get a S curve, and this shows you that it doesn't follow Ohm's law because as the resistance is increasing, this is due to the fact that temperature is increasing as well. And then for the diode, you're going to get a uh, we're going to get no current in the negative because it's not allowing it's going to have a high resistance that will stop current flowing in the opposite direction but as soon as you reverse the current you're going to get a current going flowing through at a certain voltage which will sh shoot sharply up.